Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. In the last episode, we built a custom water-cooled all EVGA PC. If you missed that episode, I'll put a link up in the upper right-hand corner so you can go check that episode out. In this episode, well, I don't know what we're going to do. Let's open up our email. Let's see what we've got. Well, this one right here is due tomorrow, so we're definitely going to do that one. Let's go ahead and read it. It says, I hear you work with computers. Got a request for a new PC. There's this game I really want to play, Doom. Could you get that done by tomorrow? G-Skill components are meant to be the bomb. Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. Cheers, Michael. So, Michael's got a budget of $2,500. And he wants to be able to play Doom at recommended spec. And he wants it done by tomorrow. I think we can make all of that work for him. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then... Let's see, this is also due tomorrow. Let's do this fix. Says, hi, are you available for a job? This is embarrassing, but I need something repaired. You'll need to diagnose what's wrong with it. My granddad thought the PC needed oiling and the results don't seem good. Any ideas? Yeah, right off the top of my head, I would have to say that there's probably oil in your PC that shouldn't be there. <laughs> uh, can you get that done by tomorrow? I've noticed it sometimes runs a bit slow too. I'm a total Asus fanboy. Many thanks, Vanessa. So Vanessa has a budget of 300 bucks to diagnose and fix. I would think it's probably their motherboard just based on the budget. Initial guess, we'll figure it out. Let's take a look at their stats real quick. They've got an Asus ROG Strix Z370E gaming motherboard. I would probably think, since they say they're Asus fanboy, and they've got a budget of around $300, which that motherboard is. That's probably what's wrong with it. So we will definitely order one of those. If it ends up not being that, we'll just have one in our inventory. It won't hurt anything at all. We'll also probably need to run a virus scan because they said it's running a bit slow too. So we'll take a look at that when it comes in. Let's go back to this new rig one here. Just to be sure, let me go to will it run. Let's go to Doom. And what do they want? Minimum spec? Recommended spec. Recommended spec. So 8 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of VRAM, 40 gigs of storage, an i5 9600K, and a GTX 1080. I'm pretty sure we can get them something even a little bit better than that, even though their budget's a little low. 2500 bucks. I bet we can do something a little bit better. So, let me get the shop opened up. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get some parts put in the cart for this build. And I will be right back. All right. So first off, right up here, this motherboard, this is the one that we may need for our fix. So I went ahead and put it in the cart. We're going to go ahead and buy it. And if we don't need it, it's not a big deal. We'll just add it to our inventory. For the build to play Doom at recommended spec, we're going to go with the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard. An i5 9600K, the MSI MAG Core Liquid 360R, that's a 360 millimeter AIO water cooler, two sticks of Trident Z RAM, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. We're also going to go with an MSI RTX 2070 Super, that's the Gaming X Trio graphics card, a 750 watt Cooler Master power supply, a 2 terabyte M.2 drive. We're going to put all that in the MSI MPG Sakura. 500p. I also thought it'd be fun. I haven't bought cables or done anything new with cables in quite a while. Figured we'd go with some new cables here. So we're going with the ribbon plastic pattern. It's lime, black, and light gray. So we'll see how those look in this build. So make sure we've got everything for next day delivery. I'm going to go ahead and buy it all now. We need to go end our day. Oh, by the way, we happen to be in the NZXT workshop today. I thought it'd be fun to switch things up from the base workshop. I may start switching them up just to have some different scenery. So yeah, here we are in the NZXT workshop. But let's go end our day. We can get everything in and we can get to work. All right, go to work. Okay, where does stuff go? <laughs> where does stuff go in this workshop? So here's all of our parts. Those all came in. Where do our repairs go and stuff? Okay, here they go, over here. So this is the empty case. Let's see, let's put that here. And this is the repair that hopefully just needs a new motherboard and a virus scan run. I guess we will find out in a minute. Let's get this case 
taken somewhatly apart. I want to see if it powers on at all. Absolutely nothing. It is dead. Uh, let's see. These cables look green. Let's see. So they may be these ribbon braided plain green cables. I'm going to go ahead and select those just so I kind of remember what they had in here. But let's start taking stuff off. Let's get this graphics card out of here. Let's get all the cables disconnected. Let's see, do we need to take... That needs to come off. Their cooler needs to go. RAM needs to come out. Maybe, there we go. Let's get the CPU out of here. And we should be able to get the motherboard removed. There we go. All right, let's hop in here. Let's go to motherboards. Oh, there we go. Let's come down here to the bottom. It is definitely broken. So, and we did get the right one. So that is good. Let's sell off the broken one. We don't need it anymore. Let's grab the new one. And I'm going to go ahead and get that installed in the case. All right. Let me get this ready for CPU and RAM. Let's grab their CPU first. They've got the i7-8700K. Oh, that's a good, good CPU. Not bad at all. Let's go to RAM. Get their Dominator Platinum installed here. Okay, graphics cards. Their graphics card isn't broken, so that's a plus. Let's go ahead and get that installed, and then let's see if these are the right cables. It looks close. That might be the right color green. Let's hope it is. Let's hope it is. Let me get everything cabled up. And then we're going to see. Actually, first, I need to get some thermal paste on here and put their CPU cooler back on. I just noticed I hadn't put that on yet. There we go. And we'll get that cabled up as well. Now I think we're ready to start this up and see if it works. I do want to hop into their BIOS. I want to see if they need XMP turned on. They did. Okay, that's good. That is good. Let's go ahead. We'll let this thing boot up. And I think we need to run the virus scan. Yeah, it's still saying diagnose and fix. They did say it was running a bit slow. So let me get a USB drive in here. And we're going to get the virus scanner put on. There we go. We'll go ahead and restart. And then I'm going to run the virus scanner. We'll see how many viruses, or if they have any viruses, on their PC here. While that thing's restarting, I think we're good. Why? Why does that VRM cover like go from white to purple? You guys see that? That's odd. Okay. <laughs> Get the virus scanner running here. 432. Nice. Let's get those cleaned up. Okay. I think I'm ready to get this side panel put back on. Get this PC closed up. And I can get this thing over here into the delivery area. Because we are done. Okay. I need to grab the sticky note. For this build, we'll get that put there, and let's start building this thing. Get this case opened up. There we go. All right, I'm going to start with the motherboard. We've got the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon going in here. Nice looking motherboard. I actually own one of these. It's a pretty decent little motherboard. Also going to get this ready for the CPU and RAM. There we go. For the CPU, we've got the, where is it? The i5-9600K going in. And for the RAM, we've got two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z 8 gig, 3200 MHz. There we go. Nice 16 gigs of RAM. They're good to go on that. I'm going to go ahead and put some thermal paste on this CPU just so I don't forget. But before I go any further, I want to get their storage installed. We've got the Patriot Viper VP4100 
two terabyte M.2 drive. We'll get that installed there. And let's see, what do we have to take off? Just that? I think just that. Let's see other CPU cooler installed. We've got the MSI MAG Core Liquid 360R that should mount right up here in the top. There we go. And then we need to get a power supply in here. For the power supply, we've got the Cooler Master V750 Gold version 2. I'm going to get that installed down here in the bottom. And I think we're ready for the graphics cards. Let me get this out of the way and that out of the way. We're going to install this thing right in the front of the case so it looks really nice. We've got the MSI RTX 2070 Super Gaming X Trio. Let me get that mounted right there in the front. Man, that thing just barely fits in that case, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a tight fit. Okay, for cables. We bought new cables. Let's look for green. Let's find the new cables. Maybe they were lime. There we go. Lime, black, and light gray. That's what we're going to go with. Let's get everything cabled up. That's why I couldn't find it. It wasn't green. It was lime. Let's see. We'll start down here. We'll cable these together. There we go. I think that's everything cabled up there. We'll soon find out. Let me get the back of this case closed. This thing's huge. I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and mount this top panel. And can anything mount... Let me unplug this. I don't know. Does the PCI lock, will it still fit? There we go. Okay, good. So we got the PCI lock on there. Then... We just need a USB drive. I'll get that in there. We're going to power this up. I'm going to hop into the BIOS because I'm sure I'm going to have to turn on XMP. So we'll go to RAM, OC, turn XMP on. We've only got one drive in there, so I don't need to look for drives. We're going to go ahead and let this reboot. And then I'm going to put the lighting app on because I want to change some lights. So we're going to go ahead and let that restart because... It's just a little crazy with the lights. All right. Let's see. Let's do the case. And we'll do the AIO. Let's do that in white. Static. There we go. Let's do that. Select everything else. Let's see if we can get kind of a lime color. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Let's take a look at it. Let me hide the UI here. I think that turned out pretty nice. The white and lime look pretty good together. It's simple, but looks pretty good. Looks pretty dang good. Okay. So I do believe that this is finished. So let's go ahead and get this in the delivery area. And we should be able to go ahead and collect some money. Let me close this out here. Uh, let's do the fix first. Let's do the fix first. Five stars. They diagnosed and fixed my PC and it boots up so much faster now. Well, you had a bunch of viruses on there. So yeah, I bet. And your motherboard was broken. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. And then let's take a look at this one for the PC to play Doom at recommended spec. Let's go ahead and collect that one. Five stars. This new PC is amazing. Excellent. Glad you like it, Michael. Okay. All right. So we got some more emails in. And let's see what the daily deals are real quick. Um... 2060 Super for 261. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. 
Ooh, I do like that white motherboard. All right, for $81, for $81, you got me. The 3070, okay. And the 26, okay, we're just, we're buying everything, and then here's a white air cooler. We're gonna go ahead and get that for $11. <laughs> so we'll just buy it all. We'll buy it all. We're starting to get in a good inventory for, hopefully in the next few episodes, we're gonna look at doing an episode of building PCs from used parts to sell on PC Bay. So keep an eye out for that episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description. You can also become a channel member. And there is a button next to the subscribe button for that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next episode.